hi, it's Cheryl with That's What She Said, and I am whipping up some um, shirts and a onesie for my sons and my nephew, and um, I just wanted to show you real quick, if you wanted to move, um, let's say you have these designs, and you, when you click Make It, um, Cricut Design Space, it sorts it automatically about how it's going to align it on a map. And let's say you want to move things from mat to mat to um, minimize the you know little scraps that you create in your heat transfer. Um, I wanted to show you how to do that. Um, sometimes I, and this is a great project because I have several mats, so I think it's a good example. So I thought I'd jump on quick and we could talk about that. So I have the three. I just um, I sized one appropriately and then I just duplicated it, um, triplicated it actually for my three sons, and then I made a smaller one because it's going on a baby bodysuit um, for my nephew. And so here is my project, and I'm just going to click make it. And like the screen I was just at, you can see it just decides, okay, it's going to line them up long ways. So first I'll show you how you can move things on the mat. Uh, and actually before I get started first, since I'm making shirts, I'm going to go through and I'm going to mirror all my mats because I'm using iron-on. So then you are sure that you're moving your design the correct way that it's actually going to be cut. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now back up here. So first things first, sorry, my kids are home on summer break, so if you hear them in the background, that's what they, that is, um, that ruckus. So if you want to move things on the mats, like let's say I have a scrap piece, like a five by five, for example, scrap piece of that I want to try to utilize, you simply just drag and drop, and this is how the machine will then cut it. Now, you do need to note that if you happen to overlap your designs, it will cut them overlapping. So be very careful. But So that's a way that you can move your designs on your map, mat, excuse me, if you wanted to utilize a scrap piece of iron-on. Now the next thing I'm going to show you is this next mat. Now you can see that there's lots of like dead space in here um, and they put the small one on the side and that's fine. You can totally do that and you can totally, um, I can show you also how I actually cut the dead space out to, to save it to use. I'm so, I'm so cheap you guys. <laughs> um, but I can show you that a different day. But for now I'm going to show you how to minimize that extra space. So for example, you can actually, like we we on this mat over here you know where we just drag and drop to a different spot we can do the same thing but we can also rotate so if I hold down the shift key and rotate it'll only rotate in um, 15 degree increments so you know you can um, make sure you get it straight so here I just flipped it upside down and here I can move it up further and over so here I freed up all that space down here. Now let's say I want to grab the one on mat number three and put it up on mat number two. Let me show you how to do that. So go ahead and click on your mat number three and then select your design and then click these little three dots right here and you can click this move to another mat. So it'll bring up the screen with all your mats on it and it'll show you mat three is the current one that you're on and we want to move it to mat two. So I simply select mat two and confirm and now you can see my mat 3 is empty and my mat 2 now has an extra it's tricky because it lines it up right there in the corner that's a note you have to know because the first time I was like where did it go but it just duplicates it right there the first of the first spot so then you can take it down and now same thing we can move it however we want you know, I mean, you can figure out which is the best way. Oh, that's probably the best way, right? To minimize this excess. And now I can also come over here and I can take this little guy and I can play around with it. And like I said, um, I'm going to hold the shift key to make sure it's... And look, that guy fits right inside. So before, I had two different mats full of white iron-on, and I was basically using the whole 12 by 12 area minus this little section down here. And now I've freed up an entire mat as well as this whole side of this vinyl here. So I could use you know, this long ways now for a sign or for something else. So 
that's the trick to um, moving your designs and combining mats in Cricut Design Space. So I hope that helped for all of you, my fellow frugal crafters who like to save all those little scraps. Um, and then you can still actually like cut this section out right here and save that section. So anyway, you all understand. But I hope that helped. And um, be sure to check out my other videos, my other Cricut videos. I have a ton on my um, YouTube and over on my Facebook page. And if you liked this video and it helped, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing for more videos. Thanks.